Okay, now that I have shaders and pipelines barely working, uh, one of the large things I skipped over with the shaders was the fact that they have no descriptors. They have no uniform buffers. They have no images or textures passed in from the application, which would normally be done either through the, those descriptors or push constant sets or even uh, mesh vertice, vertex information input. Now, I'm not going to touch vertex input quite yet, but I am going to try to do what I can in about uh, descriptor set layouts and descriptor sets and push constants, which means, uh, go, first of all, going back to shaders. Because, yes, oh no, okay. So I already kind of had the information here. Um, so let's go back to the pool, uh, pipeline pool and get at least push constant range in there. Um, would have been here. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, so it's on a per shader basis, right? Ooh, yeah. I'd have to go through all. Oh my goodness, I'd have to go through all of them. I see. Not quite great. Okay. If push ranges. not empty, then we're going to have to, uh, in the um, layout, we'll have to set constant range count equals actually, can I just put this up here then? Or down here, I should say. Like that. Yes. Set layouts. Okay, now put them together, and then we just iterate through all the shaders we have attached. So that would mean, hmm. If, uh, in this case, fragment, Okay, if that's not a pointer, then we've got to go fragment descriptor. Mm, fragment, we've got to go into the shader. Okay, it can't quite see everything. Let's just restart it. Save it. Oh, 
Okay. You're kidding me? Come on. It's right there. It's right there. If, okay, um, for each of these, it's first of all the layout. Uh, not equals. Oh my, every time I think I can actually start rolling on something, something else decides to just come in and wreck my day. Hmm. No compile. Great. Let's make sure this does compile without this. Okay, then we'll put this in place. I need descriptor sets because I need to figure out how to put them together in a, in a mm, way it's not ridiculously bad. So. Built-in descriptor layouts. Just, um, hmm. Okay, we'll just we'll just say something like um, built-in descriptor. Yeah, okay. Do that actually if I even have like this on yeah, I do I do have them. Script sets. I'll need a pool. Okay, whatever. Enum class. No, just I need to set a bunch of where. Okay, so if I'm going to have descriptor set layouts, like each shader has its own descriptor set layout. Then I'll have and some special built in ones like camera so that we don't have to rebind the camera necessarily all the time. The model matrix, the projection view. Okay, yeah. So, projection view matrix will be spot zero with model matrix equals one. That way we can just bind the projection view matrix for the camera and just leave that set. Well, I just iterate through and update the model matrix. Yeah, I uh, will have model and bone state matrices. They'll be in the same spot. So you can either have a model matrix or a model with bone together. Either one can be in set one, but one or the other, I should say. Then we'll just go vertex shader to uh, tessellation, control, 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 it's three.
Okay. And we could just use that straight. Okay. And then we need a, um, a pool, like a disker. Yeah, okay. Script reset layout pool. Much like the pipeline pool, it's not actually going to be something you can necessarily define and keep, like a shader. It's something that you will just acquire when you need it, it will be generated on demand. And it'll just stay with the lifetime of the, of the uh, program. Sure about no exception yet, actually. And descriptor set layout. Okay, this is what it is. Mm hmm. So all I need is I only really need this. And from that, I can either find a previously made layout or generate a new one. It's, oh, uh, the engine is just like foe, like friend or foe. It's my own world's garbage, most garbage um, graphics engine. Mostly just being used as a, a platform for me to figure out to gain experience or to, to be able to, to understand, to explore the problem space of graphics engines. So really crappily strung together by duct tape and twine, not very useful kind of thing. Uh, okay, what was I? Uh, VK scripter set layout. Um, and on the private side, we'll destruct, which is the definition of the layout itself, create information. And then I, um, Pointer. I can probably work with a unique pointer, right? Yeah. text so that we can uh, let's call layout
we need a vector then. Is this even something I need to export? Eventually. Actually, I'm surprised that these other things didn't need to be exported. Oh, because, let me guess. It's probably building um, static libraries right now. And that's probably why. Yeah. Okay. We'll just, nah, we'll just leave it at static libraries for the moment while I figure out what I'm doing here still. Just set layout pool. Uh, initialize, deinitialize git, create. This is all we need. Just need these. Make sure it's not already initialized. M layouts, I shortened it. Layouts. Set it. No, this has to start at like that. Okay.
go through the layers we already have. If um, I'll just kind of eliminate uh, ones that are very easy to remove. Actually, what else is in the create info? Flag. There are there aren't even flags. Wait, hold on. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. There are flags. Or. if there are even any of these guys. So, uh, nope. Create. There are indeed some flags. Okay, let's check the uh, spec to see exactly what these guys look like. Ah, here we go. Well, like this, the Vulcan is really loosened up from the original variants. It was very odd, but like, mm. hmm. Okay, well, we'll just uh, we'll have to check the flags anyways. Is the point? If these don't match, then continue. Is there anything else? Flags? No, I don't really use even check next really binding can bindings. Okay, no. So we're gonna go through the bindings themselves and check them out. Uh, extra binding, then we can do the int. Oh, no, 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 yeah, yeah, for auto and, and go 
go through the bindings. Oh no, it's a unique pointer. I just do it. I just do it the old-fashioned counting way. Who cares? Well, I did a moment ago, but not now. Okay. Back out if same turn trigger dot layout. Let's get the log. codes no maybe I do actually so I can just quickly yeah yeah yeah, yeah. code Otherwise, hmm. we need no, we, yeah, we need a new entry because we're copying them in. <sighs> yeah. Copy them in. In 
to there. Move this thing in. And return the new layout. And that should be it. Oh, no, no. Yes, yeah, almost. And layouts here after we're done with these guys. Okay, then we come back to here. We have layouts. We know exactly where we want to want yeah, yeah, where we want to put them. Hmm. And we need to be able to, yeah, we need to resize them as well. If Layout not equal null, then if scripter less than or equal, is it less than or equal? It'll be equal because I am zero based. Um, was it? Shader. It's less than that, then we need to resize that. Up to this. Did I really misspell it that badly? I really did. How terrible. Size of that. Then we're going to add this. At that position, And then for push constant range, I think it basically be this. I don't think I actually have to do. I don't know what to do with push. I'm just going to add it to the end. Um, Greater than zero, then we'll have to add it. Would we though? Okay, hold on, temp. The shader may not know that he's actually a fragment type, right? Uh, 
and then we put this guy on there. Okay, is that just not being able to build because he doesn't know what this is? He's been declared there. Built in. Oh. Okay, now he builds. Now we just need to do this for the other shaders in the vertex side. Mesh is there, not quite there yet. Oh, this is not great. Um, tessellation control. Okay, uh, shader, ooh, hold on. Okay, descriptor sets, we generate them. And then we can put them as part of a pipeline layout now. Uh, I need to have the dummy descriptor sets though, don't I? Hmm. Getting the a dummy descriptor set should be part of the descriptor set layout pool as well as a dummy descriptor set itself. That would make sense. Wouldn't it? Hmm. But then how would I hmm. Get it in here. Or just have to pass it in, maybe? No, the pipeline pool would have to know about. Or why not just have it in the pipeline pool? Descriptor, no. Mm. 
Okay, what about a built-in descriptor class? But what else would there be? There would be only really... Layout? No, no, yes, maybe. The built-in descriptor set layouts for projection view, model matrix, model and bone state matrices, as well as the dummy ones. So it does have more than one purpose. That could work. I think I will work with, yes. Hmm. We're going to need the you know, pool to initialize. need that quite yet. Okay, yes. Um, follow the kind of pattern that Vulcan's got going on in here. Flags or well, like um, I need to retrieve these ones. Hmm.
not entirely. I can't use the descriptor set layout index because model matrix and model and bone matrices share it. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Not really liking this. I don't. I don't really think that this works. Like at all. Hmm. I thought it was a good idea a moment ago, but now I'm not so sure. Maybe just have it built into the pipeline pool. No, because I need to be able to create descriptor sets, which means I need to have public access to these. Hmm. No, not necessarily. But I still need access to the descriptor set pool. Hmm. Not, but I may have, uh, oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Just, okay. Finish this, maybe rebuild or do something differently later. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you know, and we'll just not break down until we need it. I don't need to hold on to this VK device actually. And just grab it when I. Yes.
Okay. Hmm. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Layout. We need to actually build the layouts here. So we have hmm, three layout. I have three layouts right now. The projection view matrix. No, it's not even like a... Okay, I'm really starting to make mistakes now. Sometimes it, yeah, okay, that's why. Create info. Yeah, why did I even just, why did I just do this? So this equals, no, that equals. Okay, that equals that. Now, if this equals that, hmm.
similar, except the binding will be in like spot one, zero, yeah, one, so uniform is that, it's in the vertex. This array, ah, oh, part one. Do I have a ray? Yeah, I do have a ray. First one will be this. Nope. It'll be this. Uh, mm -hmm. The second will be very similar, but it'll be binding point two. Oh, get out of the way. Would it be binding? Zero one two. Yeah, yeah. And then binding point three and on are free for use or for the moment. Yeah. I'll probably have some kind of weird offset mechanism later, perhaps. Ah, I don't really need it. Okay, so we'll just have to... Oh, the dummy, the dummy stuff, right? Ugh. Yeah. Almost. Bindings and binding count. Okay. It's this, which is just that. Wait. Scripture set. Oh, no, 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 no. Create info. There we go. Pool sizes. This is what I'm looking for. Whoops, just that. Okay. That's workable.
it's a unif it's a nothing but can i do nothing um i closed it didn't i give me the spec Max sets must be greater than zero. But I don't actually need pool size, probably. Okay. I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Uh, res No, it'd be like, um, can I actually just do, mm. That's basically it. Everything else will just be zeros and nulls. Um, no, it'd be P descriptor. Yes, this guy get.
Scripture set. Look at info. Okay, I got all the sets built up. Projection view, model matrix, model and bone, state matrices, descriptor pool, dummy layout, and the set. Got to go through and got to go through back, uh, back through and delete them all now. Um, but yeah. Actually, no, I just need to delete the, this one thing. Everything else I could just set to null because it's not even under my responsibility. It's the responsibility of the, the scripter pool itself. The scripter set layout pool, I should say. Set all to zero.
Durance Max instead. Okay. Let's add these to <laughs> this monstrosity of a file. Oh no, I need to do it the other way around. He needs to be created first, or initialized first. Yes, that's right. Uh, VK error code and VK. Mm -hmm. External library. So let's see how we create this at least first. We do. No issues there. We, issues here. Um, mm, pool size must be greater than zero. Okay. Pool size, here we go. Well, oh, oh, all right. Say it's a uniform buffer.
three descriptor set layouts. Yeah, it makes sense. Go in here. Create it successfully. Okay, layout. Get the dummy layout. Can I allocate it? No problems. We're good. We're out. Fantastic. We draw our half triangle. We leave. I need to start destroying some of these objects as well. Hmm. That's the scripture sets. Scripture set layouts. I haven't actually tested any of this beyond creation to destruction. I don't actually have a thing pipeline that uses them yet. Hmm. But I don't think I really have the time to do it on this one. It's already an hour and a half. Hour 20. Okay, I got them here. Ah, yes, I need to add the built-ins into this uh, thing. Hmm. The built-ins are flag. I want to add them to the shaders. Put a little bit of a helper function on this one. Uh, vertex descriptor. Still can't find that. I don't understand what's wrong with this. I need to hide these pointers away. Abstract them, I should say, rather than hide them.
And we can kind of do the same thing on the fragment side, but it'll be very simple because it's only for one. So I don't even need that really. Go back to pipeline pool. We can then do built in. Go through each of the bits available on this guy. The index, so we have to go to basically it'll be almost like this. So if index equals um, ooh, yeah, I need to have access to the built ins. Hmm. The index for J, do this resizing thing. This index plus one. Resize plus one, yeah. Zero, one, two, which means he needs to be size uh, plus one. Mm -hmm. 
and then we need to say this spot J equals and built in description sets get built in layout for J. Okay, now before once we do all this. go through if iterator equals UK null handle then we need to use Then iterator equals that. Since my last escapades required them, you can't. You can't. They have. There has to be a contiguous set. You can't just have um, descriptor layouts at like indexes of zero, one, and five. Uh, two through four still need to have something, even if it's apparently a dummy set like this. Unless I guess we use one of those new extension flags, but I'm not gonna to touch those right now. Okay, so I just don't know if... Um... I don't know what the support range of them are for implementations. Especially on mobile. Guaranteed to be pretty garbage. already know because I'll have logs down here that say as much. I need to, no, we'll just use it still.
that. And then uh, at the end, we're going to, okay, let's actually try calling the deinitialization of these guys as well. Um, pipeline pool, deinitialize, share the pool built in. that 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 um, render pass pool do I even apparently I do it's down there okay No, okay. Something really bad just happened. Why? Oh, yeah, let me guess. Uh, in shader, that's not equal to zero. Okay, and we almost exited it out correctly. I don't have the initialization of shaders quite yet done. But I, don't know, I got descriptors of layouts, kind of the layouts are done, not the sets themselves, except for the dummy set. So I think we'll call it there, hour 40. Yeah, it'll work. Cheers.